Hello, thanks for joining me. I'm out for a drive in my larder. We're gonna go and park my car outside a lady's house who I don't think is gonna approve of me parking my car outside her house. We're just outside Coventry in a place called Binley Woods. And the house we're looking for is the house where Hyacinth Bouquet lived in Keeping Up Appearances. Now, I'm in the right road, Hever Road. I'm not exactly sure where, so I'm just driving a little bit slowly and just trying to find her house and then we're going to get out see the house where all the filming was filmed and then maybe after that we might drive into Coventry and perhaps go and see if we can find the house where Onslow lived which this larder would be a bit more appropriate for so Hever Road is now in two sections so it must be in the second half so we'll see if yeah, no one's coming so it must be along here somewhere So I've always enjoyed watching Keeping Up Appearances. I found it a very funny program. There was a larder in it once. That was in an episode where she got out to ask for directions, I think, and she sort of beckoned this man to stop. And as he stopped, everything fell off the roof. And she went, far too fast. Does your wife approve of you driving at that speed? So that was one scene where there was a larder. There was, of course, many other cars at the period. We're just coming to another. It's a long road, this Heather Road. So a small village outside Coventry. This road's quite long. There was also, I remember once seeing an FSO Polonaise. Of course, Richard, her husband, drove a Rover. That was their very sort of posh car. Oh, now, um, maybe not. No, I just saw one house that looked a bit like it, but, because sometimes you obviously get the same design of houses. Here we are, that's it. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, Pull up here. No, can I... Yeah, let's reverse. So we're outside Hyacinth Bouquet's house. This is something I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to park my larder here. Now I just imagine her to come storming out and say, Can you get that car off outside of my house? It ruins the tone of the area. Anyway, let's go outside and have a look. Well, I haven't had Hyacinth come out yet and tell me to move it. Um, <laughs> would be nice, really, wouldn't it, if it really was real? But. Um, this is the house. This is where um, Patricia Routledge, you know, was as high as bouquet where she lived. House next door. That's where Elizabeth and her brother Emmett lived. Emmett did come in later. I always remember she came out one day and if you just look, see there where my finger is. Emmett was standing there in a towel and she wanted Richard to go and confront Elizabeth about having a strange man to stay. She was not happy. She was saying, look at how it's going to make the value of the house go down or we'd have to move because we can't possibly live next door to a lady who's got a strange man coming here so let's just have a look now so obviously a larder doesn't actually appear as I said outside a house there was that episode where there was a larder reaver as for the house it has changed a bit there's a little extension outside the front that that extension there that wasn't there I think the garage was there but and there was more all of that was green grass and that's where Richard often had to do the garden and she he always had to wear a tie she used to say and he wasn't allowed to chat in the street she said that was very common to chat in the street people had to come in and have tea I just saw the modern day Emmett going into his house and um, so yeah he was never allowed to, to chat in the street that was so common she said and um, it was all she always insisted he wore a tie while gardening the other thing that I always think is really funny was her coming out of the house really annoyed when she saw Onslow pulling up here in his Cortina and it would go bang, you know, always used to backfire. That was always hilarious. And I remember another time where her sister Rose, who had various different boyfriends all of the time, they were one day being offered a chance to be given a lift to somewhere and he was told that he had a posh car the look of horror on her face when he turned up in a funeral car to give them a lift and she was making them go around the block another time. There was another episode where they were getting rid of their old suite and Onslow turned up in a van and she was complaining about this death trap of a van that Onslow was turning in and she was making Richard go outside and convince them that they were just passing strangers who had stopped to ask the way and that they were just trying to help them. She could not have you know, the embarrassment of this van parked outside and Onslow taking the furniture away. And then she said, they can come back tonight after dark, providing there's not a moon. So it was always, always really, just really funny. Um, always enjoyed it. So like I say, you can, you can see now, standing at this angle, the extension. So I said, the extension wasn't there. 
the amount of times that she'd come out the front door and Elizabeth would be there and she'd call her in for coffee and she'd be shaking away. You know, she um, was so nervous of dropping her hyacinth special cutlery with hand painted periwinkles. It, it was just, you know, a brilliant show. One of those ones, it didn't go on for too long. Some sitcoms go on too long and they get a bit silly. I think um, Hyacinth Bouquet, Keep My Appearances, ran for just about long enough. So that's the house. Another thing I always find though is as for parking a larder outside, we don't actually know what Hyacinth would have thought of larders, but I, in driving a larder, I experience, you know, all sorts of people. If people come up to me and they ask about it and that. There was one time when I used to have to park down a residential road, a bit like this, but in a different town somewhere else for work. I used to park down a residential road and there was one particular house that did not like me parking my larder outside. I never actually saw the person, but it was along the lines of, no, it, it lowers the tone of the area. We're posh, we don't want a larder parked outside. What they used to do, they used to put a sign saying, do not park here. I just used to forget, you can put one every day. I used to come along. In the end, I had a book full of all these signs and they just kept doing it. And they never did anything more. And then one day I came along and there was a sign in another language in about three different Eastern European languages. And I thought, this is really funny. I was um, almost tempted to try and get a classic car meeting of all the larders and get them to park outside that house. That never actually did happen, but yeah, it's, when you, there are people, I think we all know someone who's a bit of a snob and is a bit like Hyacinth Bouquet. I always remember, you never actually saw her, an unseen character. Of course, the most famous unseen character was good old Sheridan, her son. But another unseen character who supposedly lived at one of these houses down here was Mrs. Barker Finch. She used to go on about the hyphenated snobbery and how she couldn't bear to do anything with Mrs. Barker Finch watching who must have lived in one of these houses. Anyway, having had a bit of fun and visited the home of... Hi, St. Bouquet. I'm going to get in the larder and I'm going to drive into Coventry. And what I thought we'd do, we'll go and try and find Onslow's house. I don't know how easy it is, but I'm going to do a little bit of research. We're going to go and try and find Onslow's house, have a look, and go and we'll do the drive that she and Richard would have done in their rover so many times. So we're now driving through the suburbs of Coventry and we're looking for Onslow's house. It's a house a bit like this, but it's down one of the small closes. I think, I suppose we're filming and everything, it made it easier to stick it out of the way down the close. I think it's this one here. If this is Mitchell Close, Mitchell Close and OT, yeah, I can't see a sign, but I'm gonna assume it is. It's very narrow, but here we are. And it's the second house on the left. This house here, that is where Onslow is. I'm gonna park at the end and we'll get out and have a quick look. So here we are, this is where Richard had to park his Rover quite often when they had to go and see their, what Hyson thought of as their embarrassing family members. She'd often say things like, oh, you know I love my family, but that's no reason why I should have to acknowledge them in broad daylight. Although that was actually more for when they came to visit her. Now the house Onslow lived in was that one there. So it all looks a bit different now, but there was a hedge, there was an old abandoned car and there was always a gate that fell off. Whenever Hyson walked up the drive, the gate would fall off and a dog used to bark at her and make her jump. So that is the house where Onslow lived. I'm gonna walk back to my car now. Hope you've enjoyed this little um, exploration of the Hyson Bukedi keeping up appearance houses in Coventry. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And from the road where Onslow lived, which has probably had its first larder down it since God knows when. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Goodbye.